I've never seen a yacht like this in my dreams Sailing the seas in boats so grand, it seems But we're just humble sailors Salt upon our cheeks Go classic every day of the week Hey everybody, welcome back to Boat Fool Sailing. Thanks for tuning in last week and thanks for watching this week. We got uh, Canadian Ken in the house at headquarters today and we're hitting the Great Lakes. We're starting right smack dab in the middle with the great state of Michigan. We haven't gone out uh, to the Midwest area to the Great Lakes freshwater sailing areas and we thought this would be a lot of fun. Not only that, but our brother from another mother, Mr. Tom Brady, Mr. Tom Brady, the goat, uh, was put on the map because of Michigan and we figured that we would try to find the goat boat in Michigan for less than 30,000 so that's what we're after this week and did you know Kenneth that you can get from the Great Lakes all the way back around to Michigan uh, going down the Great Mississippi get, how do you get through the Mississippi through uh, the Great Loop the Great Loop is called yeah and a couple hundred sailors do this every year so you go down uh, the Mississippi out of the southern terminus of uh, Lake Michigan Go all the way around Florida and back up through the St. Lawrence Seaway. It's pretty amazing. That'd be quite a ride. Yeah, and sure. you could also do it uh, the other way around and then get down through the Hudson, too. Um, yep, I've had friends that do that. I'd recommend the mast off if you do that. In the canals. <laughs> yeah, I, think, I think the height of some of those bridges is like 19 <laughs> feet or something. So <laughs> Nine. you can have a lot shorter mast by the time you get down. But anyway, so uh, we're excited because there's some really cool boats out there. And there's a ton of sailing out in the Great Lakes. I one day want to do the Chicago Mackinac race because that looks uh, fantastic. I think it's one of the longest freshwater um, distance races in the world. Longest running. It's been going right. on for like 100 years or something. So uh, pretty neat. Uh, so anyway, so uh, let's blast through these like a Tom Brady touchdown pass. What exactly. You say? The last two minute drive. Here we go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sit back and relax and enjoy. All right, everybody. Here we go. So we've got our boat full scorecard. So we're going to score these up the first six and we're going to use uh, the last four. It's just honorable mention boats. But um, Kenneth, what's your frequency? You're going to take us away on this? Yeah, well, let's let's go sailing away. This is a 1978 nice. uh, Vineyard Vixen, 29 feet, located in Chalawa, Michigan. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. And a 19.5, so a good price range. This is a pretty boat. It was bought in 19, uh, 2006 and brought to the lake then. Uh, and then it's it's set up for uh, short-handed sailing, so you can single-handed as you got this Hoy uh, jib boom system. Uh, it's got you know new sails, full batten main, uh, a, a Yamar diesel. It's a nice double ender. It's really pretty looking. Looks like it's been you know well maintained, and but it's been used, so yep. it probably needs a little cleanup, but. Uh, I do love this boat. Uh, these are so, they're so pretty and they're made out here off the coast of Massachusetts, uh, Martha's Vineyard, and uh, they've been around for a long time and these boats are really sea kindly and beautiful. Uh, I love the looks of these. Um, yeah, you said uh, that, that this is a new self-tacking uh, jib boom on here. That's sweet. Yeah, so if you uh, want to do some solo sailing in this lake, you could, or yeah. bring it out into the big lake, Michigan. It's got some onshore power there, it looks like. Yep. Um, yeah, you know, it, it looks like it, it could use a good cleanup, but I don't notice any any water damage or anything like that. You got a black water holding tank okay. there. Yep. Uh, we noted uh, that yes. maybe the toilet had been removed, so maybe that is yeah. mentioned somewhere in the description. And, but, and these days you could put a composting head in there. And, and that would be smart for on the lake there. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, this is these are uh, beautifully handling boats, and handling boats, I should say. And uh, oh, look at that, yeah, Yanmar, that yeah. thing's like spanking new. Yeah, it looks in like good shape. They don't have the engine hours, but it looks like it's been, you know, all in uh, I love that so, just shallow draft. I mean, this would get you anywhere. Yeah, this is uh, a, a nice really lines. pretty boat. Yeah, what's that? Um, Let's see if it tells us anything about the engine hours on this. 16 horsepower, 1997, doesn't say, um, but you know, um, if it's been well maintained, these things will go forever. Um, holds 20 gallons of diesel and water. Yep. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty. Let's look at the uh, sailboat data on this, Ken. That's a nice first pick. Yeah, look at look at the lines uh, on this. It's just really pretty. And there yeah. it is, that self-tacking boom on this one too. Uh, there's your um, your so your side profile on that. Just nice uh, fin yep. keel. Deep combing on the inside, so you're going to be. Yeah, that's got nice high combings in that cockpit. That's really nice. All right, so length overall of 29.63, length on the water of 23 feet, uh, beam of eight and a half, fiberglass construction made in Martha's Mark Vineyard, Vineyard uh, yeah. Thomas Hale and Son designed. Um, sailor displacement about 14, uh, ballast displacement of 37, nearly, nearly 38, nice stiff boat, 
uh, heavy displacement 315 comfort there. ratio of over 30 that's yep. gonna be a comfortable boat yep. and, and capsizing screen of under two and an s factor of 1.4 so comfy and it's got some speed too. yeah it'll be a little bit slower in light air but when it blows she'll go and yep. and it's great for solo sailing like you said a nice couple or a small family this would be a lot of fun yeah nice yeah solid first pick all right let's uh let's score them up let's score this one up all right all right, so I'm here with my first pick. This is a 1978 Tartan 34C, uh, located in St. Clair Shores, Michigan. I think that's east, eastern yeah, side yeah, on Lake yeah. Huron. Uh, list price is 24.9, and again a little bit older, like the Vineyard Vixen. But I love this classic C and uh, Tartan 34C. These are beautiful boats, well made, and this one looks like it's been well maintained. It's only had two owners over, since 1978, wow, awesome. and that is pretty incredible. So going through the pictures, you get a nice. Uh, uh, Dodger Bimini combination, all this encloses apparently. Um, tiller steering, uh, nice down below, everything looks clean. The wood all looks to be in nice shape. The cushions are great. Uh, you got your gimbaled stove there. There's your head, V berth, uh, refrigeration on this, uh, your instruments and some clocks and barometers. And here's your uh, centerboard situation, mm -hmm. um, your pulley system, and it is centerboard. And so as um, uh, the uh, good folks at Rigging Doctor, uh, Herbie, said um, he doesn't care for centerboards uh, and you really need the centerboard because he said if you don't use the centerboard and you try to sail up wind, it's like trying to run with your pants down. I thought <laughs> yes, that was like the best <laughs> analogy. You, you uh, need it. Uh, yeah. You need the centerboard yeah. if you want to head up wind at all. Yeah. So I just think this is a nice, um, comfortable boat, self-tailing winches, and uh, I think the engine hours are around 2,400. Uh, at 2600, 2600 hours, 2600 hours yeah. um, so not too bad there's your um, crank for your centerboard uh, your lower and lift but really pretty boats and uh, it's a universal diesel on this beautiful classic lines if you're looking for a classic beauty this is this yep. is this is for you yeah, it's um, a nice looking cruiser for sure yeah and the fact that it's only had two owners since 1978 obviously someone has cared a lot for this boat and and maintained it over those years yeah uh, there's a whole list of things here we're not going to get into uh including you've got um solar you've got gps you got all sorts of good inventory on here so um that's that's my first pick. Uh, I like it. I yeah. like it. So I think this lake is just north of Detroit. It's sort of in between Huron and as you get into um, uh, would be Erie. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, it's on yeah. the eastern shore of, eastern, uh, yeah, of, yeah. of Michigan. But, but yeah. Um, nice looking boat. Looks yeah, nice. Tartans are known for their build quality, and this is one of their classics. So, looking at the uh, sailboat date on this, uh, there's your profile, there's your center board. Uh, so, a nice sort of draft keel of that board up. So, it's a shallow draft keel. Um, just a pretty, pretty. Uh, shear on her and coach roof mm -hmm. and uh, length overall 34 and a half basically length on water of 25 a beam of uh, 1017 comfy yeah and 525 of these are bu were built and it's a spark and Stevens, Stevens right there you go um, <laughs> can't go wrong there yep this is an atomic four gas engine but I believe the subject boat is diesel I checked it yeah. out and I will confirm that. 16.9 on the sail air displacement, so pretty quick boat in light air. Nice stiff boat at 44.64. Uh, heavy displacement 320, comfort ratio of near that 30 mark at 28.3. Capsizing screen of under two at 1.82 and 1.59. So decent numbers. Yeah. And I just love these. Uh, you can race it, you can sail it, you can cruise it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, lots of It's options. got everything. Lots of options on this boat. So that's, uh, that's my first pick. I like it. That's a good pick. All right, let's score them up. All right, Kenneth, what do you got for your second pick? All right, my second pick is a 1990 Island Packet 27. So nice. insurable, for sure. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's Also right. located in that St. Clair Shores, Michigan, which is sort of uh, north of uh, Detroit. 29.9, so on the higher end of things here. But this is a beautiful cutter rig boat. Uh, they say here it's cues a bug's ear, built like a brick. So you're getting both that cuteness and, and the, the stability of a, of a stronger boat here. And a well-built boat. Yeah. Well-built boat, a cutter rig. I love the name. It's Chirach. So that's some Gaelic. Bless you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Chirach. It's a Gaelic for family unit or uh, clan. Uh, yeah, so I that's thought cool. that's a nice name, interesting name. But I love this boat. The cutter rig looks like it's, um, he's got a, a Yamar, it only got 1,270 hours, 18 wow. horsepower engine yep. on it. Full kill draft, 3.8, so it's shallow. You can get this Very shallow anywhere. draft, under four uh, feet, yeah. It, 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 yeah. 19 gallons of fuel, 31 gallons of water. Um, it's got refrigeration, a Dodger, Bimini, a lot of good things. And so. you know, for, uh, for 27 feet, it looks like there's a ton of space down below. Um, yeah, look at this. That, yeah, that, yeah. That's, a, that's a nice looking boat. Why is this skipping around like this? Sorry, yeah. folks at home. Uh, but in any yeah, event, set up, you know, electronic, old, old electronics and things like that. But yeah, I, yeah some things have been upgraded. 
Uh, nice know, stainless steel like ports. Those, those are great. Yeah. Are really nice. um, yeah. So, it's got everything you need. Uh, nice protected yeah, prop for, too. For up uh, there, maybe not as concerned where we are, but uh, right. uh, certainly a nice the cutter rig. It has sort of an old classic uh, lines to it. I really like. Definitely, and nice yeah. bowsprit there, and uh, roller for your anchor off of that. This is nice. Yeah. Lazy jacks. Um, yeah, this is nice. There's that name you mentioned right there. <laughs> Say that again. Choi <laughs> Luch. <laughs> and it means family, right? Yeah, more more yeah. or less. Yeah. Family. Uh, and it's got great interior volume and. Does it say? Do we know anything about the engine hours? Did you say? Yeah, twelve hundred. Oh, twelve hundred. Yeah. And yeah, you got auto helm on this. You got a Garmin yeah. chart plotter, uh, GPS. You got everything. Uh, gas stove. Sorry, folks. Yep. Yeah, it's on the higher range that we're doing here, but I, I just think this boat would get you anywhere, really, and, and in comfort. Yeah, bimini and comes with six jack stands. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, these are well built boats, um, and they're very steady at sea. And for twenty seven feet, this thing packs a lot of. A lot into her, yeah. and and I just think it uh, that's a pretty boat. Uh, let's look at the uh, sailboat data on this. Um, so there's like the, beamy as can be. I mean, beamy as can at, be. Yeah, there's your nice protective prop, full keel, uh, cutaway forefoot there. Um, <clears throat> length overall of 26 and a half, length on the water of 24 and a quarter, and a beam of nearly 11 feet. So that's yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, that's going to be a nice, comfortable boat down below. 243 of these were made, designed by Bob Johnson. Um, that's a slick little boat. Max draft, like you said, is under four feet at three and three feet seven inches. So you can really get into some shallow water with this boat and have some fun. This is cool. Uh, Yanmar, you're right. Um, sailor displacement is 16 and a quarter. That's pretty quick for yeah. uh, that, for that boat. Beamy. The, yeah. yeah, for that beamy boat. And it's probably just the cutter rig. That ratio and seems a little low, I'd say. That comfort about, ratio. Yeah, yeah. Of uh, The comfort ratio yeah. of 21, I think, might be the uh, short water line. But uh, it's a nice stiff boat at 37 and a half. Capsizing screen of under two, over, over two, excuse me, and an S factor of over two. So a pretty quick boat, but you're right, that comfort ratio does seem low given low, what we know yeah. about these boats yeah. and the beam on that boat. But I don't know. I think that's a very solid yeah. pick. These are very comfortable boats and uh, great for cruising for a couple or a small family and definitely overnighting and gun coaling. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 I do. I, I just, uh, like I say, cute as a bug's ear, which it is. And cute as a bug's ear. But they're built. They're never, rugged. They're yeah, rugged. I've never heard that cute as a bug's ear. And you have a dog named yeah, I do have a, bug, a dog named <laughs> Bug, a beetle named Bug. Um, all right. Nice, uh, nice second pick. All right. All right. Let's, let's score it up. Score it up. All right, so my second pick of the day is a 1978 Pearson 31, located in Muskegon, Michigan, uh, list price of 199. And the reason I chose this one is because it's the first generation of the Pearson 31, and I just love her transom. And I'm going to show you that in a second. So, buzzing through the pictures, you can see she's got a Dodger, a Bimini, she's got Lazy Jacks, World of Furling. And just nice clean lines on here. So I have that CNC tow rail here, um, but um, nice looking boat. And uh, some of these pictures are wonky. It's not us. It's the uh, yacht world here. But I want to get to the transom. Mm. Really unusual uh, looking uh, Pearson transom. You've got a stern hung ladder, which is nice. And uh, the Pearson, more modern Pearson transoms are wider and broader and not quite as attractive as this, in my opinion. But the bottom looks great on this. The gel coat looks wonderful. Um, this looks like it'd be a fun, fast boat. And the down below, uh, it's a fractional rig, uh, which is nice for, it's going to point well. And I'm um, trying to get to some down below pictures. Tiller steering, nice high combings. You got a speaker, uh, so you can have some tunes in the cockpit there. But um, tiller steering, so it's gonna be nice, responsive sailing. And ship to shore power, I just saw. Uh, your traveler's right in front of the companionway, which I don't particularly love. But if you're gonna single hand, this would be convenient because you've got your nice primaries here for uh, your Genoa. Um, but uh, overall, you can enclose your cockpit here with your Dodger and Bimini. Uh, nice looking little boat. And you've got a gimbaled stove. Down below is a little dated in terms of the color scheme with that sort of mustard yellow, but the yep. cushion and fabric all looks nice. Uh, there's your nav station. Um, it looks like a newer Garmin anyway, um, reasonably new Garmin. And uh, VHF, you're all good to go. Stereo, uh, there's your V-berth. There's your yeah. uh, toilet in your head. For, uh, for 1978, it's been really well maintained. Right, and even even comes with the TV if you want to watch there some uh, some uh, television. Refrigeration there? there? Uh, I don't know if it has refrigeration. It's a just, good question. Uh, uh, it just looks like the ice box ice with a drain. Yeah. Yep. But um, no engine hours reported. Now the one knock on this is it is a universal atomic four gas engine, which you'll see here in a second. Uh, and the key with the gas engine is just maintenance and making sure you uh, air it out before you fire it up. Make sure there are fumes hanging out down there in the engine compartment. Um, but the, the engine um, looked to be 
yeah. reusable in reusable shape. Yep. And if it's well maintained, not a problem. People use atomic four gas engines all the time, and a lot of power boats are gas. You know, just see boats blowing up everywhere, yeah, right? Yeah, so yeah. Uh, anyway, I really. I'm a fan of this look, and I think for an entry-level boat at 19.9, you're not going to get hurt, and be a fun little family cruiser, and you could race this thing. So, looking at the sailboat data, um, there it is. Uh, you have the schematic here, nice fin keel, looks like a nice fast boat. There's that cool transom. Uh, you can't see it in that photo, but I really like this. Yeah, I like that. Sort of almost like a, the rounded end is sort of yeah, very, it's, very it's, graceful. It's, it's very yeah. pretty, right? Um, pretty flat shear on this, but she's still a really pretty boat. Uh, length overall 31, length on water of 25, beam of nearly 11 at 10 and a half, a max draft of only five and a half, so not bad. Um, and it's a Bill Shaw design built by Pearson Yachts, and there it is, the Atomic 4. And uh, sail area displacement nearly 17 at 16.8, ballast displacement of 40.43, uh, so a nice stiff boat. Uh, moderate displacement at 268, comfort ratio of nearly 24, so not bad for a racer cruiser. Yeah. Um, capsizing screening is under 2 at 1.99, and an uh, S factor of 1.99. So she's going to be a quick, yeah. lively boat. Yeah, she's uh, definitely good for racing, but also, like you said, it's not much draft, so you can pretty well go a lot of places with this as well. Yeah, and I just, again, I just, I love the, I love the transom on this, and <laughs> I wish I could show it one more time. To me, it reminds me of a guitar pick. It does look yeah. like a guitar pick, and, it, and the way it rounds in yeah. like that, right, toward, yeah, um, I love that. toward the sides there, it's really pretty. So, uh, that's my second pick of the day. Want to score it up? Yeah, score it up. Nice pick. All right. Thank you. All right, Ken. What's your uh, All third right. pick? My third and final is a 1984 O'Day. It's a 34-foot located in Holland, Michigan. So that's on the Lake Michigan side. Okay. For 19000 So this okay. is a good price range. Key thing here, one owner. Wow, really? One owner. Always been kept in fresh water. Um, it just is in really nice shape. It's got a universal 24 horsepower uh, diesel engine. Yep. So it's turnkey case. ready to use. Turnkey ready to use. This is a pretty boat. You know, I, I don't know a lot about the O'Day boats. I know there's some around. Um, nice bimini. Yeah, uh, so I don't know. We don't know if there's a Dodger, but certainly a full length bimini there. That'll yep. keep you covered. Transom hung ladder, yep. which is nice. And, and and the beam on this thing is over 11 feet. Wow. So, For 34 feet, that's. Exactly. Yeah. So it's going to be a very uh, comfy ride, I imagine. Uh, I gotta yeah. say those are pretty lines, Ken. Yeah, not bad. I, I hadn't seen too many of the O'Days, but yep. obviously it was, this has been well maintained. And one owner that just tells you they know this boat inside and out. And that yeah. actually is worth its weight in gold when you go to buy a used boat like this, uh, having one owner so they can tell you everything yeah, about it and what they've got. Hot water, you know, we have an on demand, but the, you know, hot water tank. Look, yep. really nicely maintained downstairs. Looks comfortable. No, you can't any water damage. I can't see anything. I agree with impressive. you. I'm not sure if this is the original. I think it is. It's all molded kind of, in there. Kind of funky, molded in there like that. Yeah, it's yeah. typical for that. And, and the that shower area. head is sort of attached to it. So yep. that's, you know, that's your shower as well. Nice bee berth. Bee berth. Yeah, cushions look comfy. Drop leaf table. Yeah. Liquor cabinet right in the there middle. You got like uh, yeah. Quarter berth back there. I, you yeah. know, this. The one owner, well, this is funny. Well, I think they must have taken out the burner or something, and they sort of said, let's just do, uh, uh, you know, frozen food dinners. So I think there's, there's other ways you can do it. Hot pockets. Hot pockets. That's all they had. Yeah, but you know what? This is yeah. Uh, yeah. well maintained. Yeah. There's a universal. Uh, looks like it's clean. There are your uh, yeah, schematics from there. Yeah. yeah. We'll look again uh, on the. You know what? I, I, I'm, I'm not going to knock this boat at all. I am impressed with this thing. It's a racer cruiser. Um, does it tell hours on the engine? It didn't. I don't think it had the I mean, hours. Let's just take a quick look. No, no, no it doesn't. Hours, um, but um, I, it's probably the original Universal, I imagine. But, yeah. Uh, but again, it could uh, have very low hours on it. And yeah. even if not, it's been well maintained and will still probably go for a long, long time. Yeah. Um, let's look at the sailboat. I, Ken, that's... A, I'm not to harp on this, but this I think that's an actually a very good looking boat. It looks yep. fast, comfortable. Looks like you can do a lot of this and get a lot of use out. To do a lot with it and get a lot right. of use out. Right, you say something that we would look at for a boat. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Great I mean, I, I prefer uh, f you know the full keel versus, versus the, 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 fin the fin sharp fin keel here. Fin keel, yeah, but, uh, but nice yeah. high combings in there. Um, so you could race cruise this. Let's look at the yeah, uh, sailboat like data. Zero bright work, so you're not rigging out the varnish. That, that's an excellent <laughs> point. No, uh, not a lot of bright work, so you don't have to spend a lot of time working on your boat. But there are your schematics here. That's a cool looking boat. Uh, the subject has more of a 
It has this window schematic here. The That's one, right, the, the one, one, the bigger yeah. one. Yeah. Uh, 34 feet overall, length on water of 28 and three quarters. Uh, beam 11 and a quarter. Yeah, that's a nice beamy boat. Uh, max draft is uh, under six feet at 5.58. That's fantastic. 241 of these were made. That's uh, and yeah. it's a C. Raymond Hunt design. Um, there's a universal diesel, 50 gallons of water, not bad. Yeah. 16 and a half. Um, Sailor displacement, nice quick boat, light air, stiff boat at 40, that's perfect. Um, uh, light to moderate displacement at 216, and the comfort ratio is a little lower because she's a racer cruiser at 23.33. Uh, just at two at your capsizing screening, so that's okay. And uh, an S factor 2.47. So if you're looking for a fun, lively boat, yeah. uh, maybe do some racing, maybe do the uh, Chicago Mackinac race, uh, you could do it in this boat, no problem, and probably do well. That's okay. a, it looks like there was there two keel configurations. Yeah, you got a shoal draft and then a deeper fin. Yeah. Um, and this one is the deeper, deeper fin deeper model. Deeper fin yeah. that we have here. But yeah. um, I, I, I'm a fan, Ken. Yeah. That's a nice pick. Yeah. Nice third pick. I like it. Yeah. All right, should we uh, score, score it up? Guy. All right. Okay. All right, Kenneth. So my last pick of the day, just hear me out on this. because she, <laughs> She's unconventional looking. This is called a Bombay Clipper. And she's located up in Harbor Springs, Michigan, which is the northwest section of the state. This price is $26,000. She was built in 1978, and she's 31 feet long. This boat has been owned by the same owner for 45 years. So another one wow. owner boat. That's pretty incredible. And this boat was designed really for some blue water cruising. Um, and she's unconventional looking, but I kind of like it. Nice little uh, bowsprit. You got Dodger, Bimini. Um, and I believe she's a uh, fractional rig, but we'll take a look in a second. Uh, stern hung ladder. These photos are a little funky, sorry. Uh, I don't know why they're taking pictures of her, of her spreaders, but there she is under sail. It's a little dark and hard to see, but uh, designed uh, to do some serious sailing. And she's been stored indoors for 45 wow. years. All right. So she is uh, meticulously maintained, uh, one owner, and I actually find her kind of appealing. She's very unconventional, so I think it's going to be a sort of a head turner. Yeah. But look at the condition of this boat. She's, uh, you know, a full keel, uh, almost a full keel, sort of shoal draft, um, skeg hung rudder there, and a little brewer bite, you know, mm -hmm. um, and the prop is protected there a little bit behind this, and uh, kind of... I mean, the engine must be quite far forward. Yeah, I think it would yeah. be unless it's a V drive, but we'll uh, we'll find out. I think it is a little farther forward, but um, the gel coat looks spectacular. There's your bow sprit, um, bow rollers, but the decks look great. Yeah. Um, it looks like it's a uh, deck step mast there, which is unusual, but uh, not unusual. It's, it's no big oh, deal, okay. but it's just, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. But uh, we're so used to seeing I bet the headroom down below is like luxurious. Yeah, so the cockpit looks nice and you got nice uh, auto helm here, your controls right here. And it just looks like it's uh, purpose built, right? Um, self tailing winches, auto helm, trying to get down below. You, there's your table in the cockpit. Uh, it looks like you have a cooler, cooler. in the cockpit yeah. so you can keep your. I like that. Uh, your iced teas. <laughs> your iced teas, right. Or your hard iced tea, maybe, <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, down below, uh, you got refrigeration and one little sink there, which isn't fantastic, but you, know, you can get by with that. But all everything looks to be like in mint condition. The photos are all really closely cropped, which gives me a little bit of pause, but there are a lot of photos, which is a good sign, but the cushions all look great. The fabric fabric looks great. Um, again, a little bit yeah. dark here. Sorry, people, but uh, it is like what it is. It's like carpeted sole. It looks before. like the carpeted sole, um, right. so you don't slip and fall, but may, hopefully everything's in good shape under that. You'd have to take a peek, but yeah. um, a lot of photos here. Sorry, the the fabric up in the V berth is a little bit different. A little, um, little dated, but little you know, dated. 1978 again. One owner. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, good. there's your battery bank. There's your Volvo uh, diesel, which is sweet. Wow, uh, nice. it looks like nice access to that really too. Nice. So it looks like it is. Yeah, the, it is pulled, pulled forward, forward a little bit. Yeah, yeah uh, under your companionway, but um, yeah, yeah, unconventional, yeah. unique and one owner over 45 years. Five to years. me, that is a showstopper. Um, Legato. Yeah, so I would, if you're interested in a more serious cruising type boat, um, this would be one to look at. And the price, in my opinion, is right. You got 60 gallons of uh, water, 30 gallons of diesel, and 30 gallon Holden tank. Wow. Uh, so you can go some distance. You can go some distance. And um, looking at the sailboat data, um, it's not fractional rig. I totally apologize. Oh, okay. I messed yeah. that up. I was thinking of the other one. But um, again, a little bit funky looking, but uh, I think it's kind of cool and unique enough to make my top three. So mm -hmm. length overall 31, length on water of 25 and a half, uh, ultra heavy displacement, nope, 
that's a misfire altogether. Erase that from your mind. Beam of 11 <laughs> feet, uh, max draft of only uh, three yeah. and a half, 3.42. You can get anywhere. Walter Scott design, I don't know a lot about him. We're gonna find out. Uh, this, the subject boat has a Volvo, not a Yanmar. And uh, sail area displacement of 14.49, so not very fast in light air, but she'll go when it blows. Um, reasonably stiff boat at 34, and a moderate displacement of 266, and a comfort ratio of 23.3, which is a little lower than I was expecting, to be, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. I thought it'd be closer to 30. Uh, capsizing screening of just over two, and a sail area displacement, uh, an S factor of 1.78. So nice. um, reasonable numbers. It's going to go when it blows, and uh, if you want to cruise around the lakes, um, you would uh, have a good time on this boat. Yeah, it, it's reminded me a little bit of the island packet, you know, the cute as a bug's ear kind of thing, you know? <laughs> a, little, a little stubby at the end there, but, you, you know, play a headroom down below, and right. it looks like it's uh, a sturdy, too. A sturdy boat, yeah. exactly, and stored indoors for 45 huh. years in the off-season. I mean, honestly, that's Jeez. that's worth its weight in gold. So Good find. Uh, yeah, that's my uh, that's my third uh, pick of the day. So right. Score it up. All right, so now we're going to do our four honorable mentions, two each. So, uh, Ken, take it away. What's your first one? Okay, my first one's a 1989 Amazon 30, located in Northport, Michigan, for 28.5. This is a cutter rig 30 footer, and it's made from rolled steel. Nice. It's pretty amazing. It, it says no signs of rust or deterioration. Uh, it's got some amazing upgrades. It's got a new Yamar engine, a new mast and boom all within the last five years. This would be a really fun racer, cruiser. Some rub marks on the hull, but big deal. Yeah, because it's steel. Right. <laughs> yeah, they, <laughs> Paint they, over it. Paint over it. I like this. Looks like a, a nice fast boat, and um, obviously it's going to be durable. You just got to keep an eye on the metal, make sure it's not getting any rust in there. Right, and, it's, and you're in fresh water, so yeah. uh, right. not as... Uh, not much electrolysis. As, yeah. as, as, as salt water, right. Yeah. Down below, it looks nice and open, sort of open concept yeah, open design. Open concept, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's very clean, sort of a modern-looking feel to it below, which yep. I like. And I've never heard of Amazon. No, uh, me neither. Yeah. I don't think it's a Bezos boat. <laughs> I don't think Jeff Bezos is selling this around or selling it out of his garage, maybe, uh, when he started Amazon. Yeah. But, uh, uh, yeah, that's a cool boat. And steel hull. Uh, and, and it comes with a trailer. And comes with a trailer. So nice. if you don't like where it is in Holland or Northport, Michigan, you can move it. Move it to Plan B, plan wherever plan that might B. be. And there's your engine. Brand, that's brand new, brand right? Brand new, baby. 23 hours on it or something. And dual Raycor uh, yeah, filters. Dual filters, so... It's meant for some good cruising, for sure. That's really neat. That's an attractive looking boat, yep. to be honest with you. A little uh, different. Yep. All right, so uh, moving on to my first honorable mention is an Island Packet, a 1985 Island, pa Island Packet 31. Uh, list price of 34000 so it's a little bit over that 30 mark, but you're not going to pay 34 for this. You're going to go under 30, I guarantee it. Um, and she's located in, in the Harrison Township in Michigan, wherever that might be. But I wow. like this because the hull looked really nice, the bottom looked great, the top sides looked beautiful, um, and it comes with a Dodger Bimini down below. There are very few pictures, but it looks like it's been well maintained from what I can tell. A little something going on here with your blocking around your uh, keel step mass, okay. but uh, you know, you'd have a survey, of course. But um, overall, it looks like a nice boat. It's been a freshwater boat in the Great Lakes uh, all of its life. Um, comes with a new hot water heater, Bimini, and Dodger, and said to be in great condition and you know how yeah. i feel about that uh take that with a grain of salt, salt. um all yeah. right yeah that's our second island that's packet my, that we had yeah today. two island yeah. packets today that's unusual that's a first uh but anyway your second uh runner up all right so my second runner up is this toy Lee 41 and it's located in makatawa i'm gonna say uh, michigan 34.9 <laughs> so again on the higher end yeah but why we saw when we were doing the pacific northwest these toy Lees, and they're just the detailed downstairs is down below is just beautiful. Downstairs works. Downstairs. So the thing about this, it needs a little work. Yep. Um, and some and, it, and it, you know, the hull should be redone. And it says some leaks. So you're you're going to get better than 34.9 on this. But it needs some work. And, and like, she's in like, 1977. So 1977, yeah. a little tough for insure. But boy, I just there's something about these boats I just absolutely love. Uh, you know, the teak decks, you know, and it, it's one of these you've got to you got to put a little effort into getting this back. This one's going to be a labor of love, yeah. but it's beautiful. And check out down below. I love the little... The, trying to get there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah your little, main salon the, the uh, main settee. settee. Look yeah. at that. I mean, that's... <laughs> hey, uh, if you want to have a good social engagement, that's it, right? You can't avoid eye contact in this one. You're staring exactly. right at each other in a circle. Just go inferno. Going yeah. <laughs> uh, but but the, the, nice always galley. The, yeah, the galley's nice. All the little wood details are, are nice on this. Uh, 
I, I don't, I'd love someone to get this and bring it back up to its uh, original. The looks engine like a, looks a little, a little worn. Looks like a bit. Perkins, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but um, I, the lines on this are exquisite, in my opinion. And I think if you uh, are, are looking for a little bit of a project boat, just put some elbow grease into it. Yeah, it is a Perkins. Yeah. Um, uh, great diesel engines and uh, this one Doesn't looks like it could hours. use a little love but once you fix it up it's going to be a beauty yeah um, nice nice one all right my uh, my last honorable mention a little bit of a different tack so to speak no yeah. pun intended but uh, if you're more into the racing scene this tartan 10 uh, 1978 33 feet would do the trick these are fast and furious boats list price of 29.5 and the top size on this look beautiful this boat's been well maintained looks like it's stored indoors looks like some work has been done to her uh, but uh, these are pretty bare bones but great racers and uh, they are fast you got a nice tripless uh, drive shaft seal here uh, there's your raw water and fuel filter and there's your yanmar diesel uh, self-tailing winches those harkins look new um, but what a pretty boat right, yeah yeah and listen to this sail area displacement of 29 uh, 21.93 so nearly 22 that is a fast, fast boat. boat and very stiff at 49 uh, so anyway, if you want to do some racing on the Great Lakes, uh, beer can racing, distance racing, uh, this would be a heck of a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's my uh, second honorable mention. So now we're going to go and we're going to score up the top six and we're going to come back to you with a winner. All right, ladies and gents, here we go. Uh, we have a clear winner today, though we do have a tie in second. We did some calculating, we verified, we double checked, uh, but we're running with the tie today. So coming in third place today in the great state of Michigan is the 1978 Tartan 34C. I love this boat. She's worthy of third place. I'm happy with that result. Beautiful boat. All right, so here comes our tie. Tied for second with a grand total of um, 40 and a half points were the Vineyard Vixen, the 1978 Vineyard Vixen 29, and the 1978 Pearson 31 with that cute, cute transom. Um, so they're tied for second, two very cool boats, and you can have fun with either one. That's yeah, right, all both, uh, all prior 1978 boats. Yeah, so uh, they're not newer, but they still have a lot of love and sailing left to give, so don't give up on them. Uh, all right, so. The goat from Michigan, the goat boat, is the dark horse, just like Tom Brady was, is the 1984 O'Day 34. So kick it on the drum. Kick it on the drum. This is a cool boat. I'm surprised that this Me is the We're both surprised of the winner, but that's what the beeping and the calculating gets you. 41 points. Uh, and she is the winner today. She's hot, hot, hot. Uh, thanks for being wingman again today, Canadian yeah, Ken. Pat. Always a blast. Thank you, Michigan, and go Pats. And we'll see you next week. Modest vessels, ways we wrestle, making all the sirens sing. Ocean air sailing there, we still enjoy the finer things. We don't care. The view is pretty good from here, and we'll always be sailing.